Hi everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another edition of Shroud of the Avatar. Well, Killdozer is doing a little bit of juggling action with uh, Oracle Eyes. Um, we were in the town of Hometown. Uh, we just did two episodes of looking at all the different houses in Hometown, all the houses that are available to players in the game. Uh, either you can have them crafted or you can buy them uh, from the add-on store or from other players. And uh, we spent two episodes. I, I planned on it being one episode, but I got so long-winded that it broke into two. Uh, sorry about that. But one thing I thought that would be interesting to cover would be the different uh, biomes that are available for player-owned towns. Uh, biomes being the, the different types of towns you can have. Uh, a biome would be like the mountains or snowy mountains or the desert, that kind of thing. Um, they're all available to look at in hometown. And here we are at the, uh, at the entrance. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, there are nine different types of housing or nine different types of player-owned towns that a player can choose when they're buying a town. And they're all laid out right with all these uh, different boats here. So we can go on into each one and, and take a look. Um, so again, we're at Hometown. This is the entrance of Hometown. And this red sail uh, ship takes us back to Novia. Uh, but what I want to do is take a look at all these different things. And uh, what I want to start off with is the desert biome. And uh, so let's... And as you can see, we have Desert 01, 01A, B, and C. And we'll go into 01. The, the, the differences between the desert biomes are basically um, if you have um, a wooden dock or if you have a, a stone a wall with cobblestones on it or not. Um, so they're very slight variations. This is the very basic desert uh, layout. We have this dock. And some versions have uh, a stone wall here with some steps. Um, some versions will have cobblestones in this, this middle center. Let's take a look at the map. So here we are. This is where we came in on the dock. And make this a little smaller so we can get a, a good picture. As you can see, this is the, kind of the standard map. Um, this is like the little downtown area that we can do something with. Um, there are different locations. Wherever it's flat is where you can place housing or place different lots for housing. And um, I think the desert style is, is fairly beautiful. It's really kind of cool looking. Um, it's wide open, of course. So all this is, is, is flat land. You can place your buildings, uh, your, your um, available lots for, for yourself or for other players and put them anywhere where it's flat. So you can see that this is all open area. Um, what you'll also notice when we take a look at these is this map is really similar um, to what you'll see for the, uh, the most popular or most use anyway, uh, Forest One with the coast. Uh, the only difference there is uh, there's a lot more trees in here and this is a river or a little creek that runs into a, a big pond with an island in the middle. Here, of course, in the desert, we don't have any of that. So, but we do have some beautiful mountains in the background. Um, a lot of people do like the, the desert style. Um, I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, you can put some, some housing back here, but again, you can't put anything right here because of the hill. And on this side, you can from here over. And uh, you can place, you, know, you have your, your lot markers, and you can place those uh, however you want. Uh, there's spots up here on top of this, uh, this mountain range up here. They have different roads that you can take. In fact, let me just show where we're going here. We're not going to go around to every single um, spot in the map because no one's going to want to watch me run around on the maps over and over again. We're just going to give you a, a general taste for, for what the maps look like. There are generally uh, four or five entrances that you can choose from in these maps. Um, the standard now is, is generally on the docks when you have that. Uh, right up here used to be the standard. Uh, there's generally another... One, I think, down here. This is an entrance possibility here. You can exit there. Uh, there's another one here. Um, and I believe there's one over here as well. Uh, so I know one, two, three, four for sure. There's probably another one over here. Um, so, and then there's a little island out there. So if we come up onto this hill up here, you will be able to look down on everything. Let's see.
And again, this one and the um, actually a lot of these maps use a very similar layout. This one, the the forest number one, um, the swamp, and the snowy mountain all have the same basic layout. So we'll do a little bit on the desert because you can see a little bit better. And then after that, it's like oh, the same basic layout. So this is really good if you want to do kind of a, a south uh, southwestern style. So again, this is a big empty spot over here. This is this is sizable for a, I know for a city house, possibly for a keep. I don't know if you can put a castle up here, um, but obviously down below you can see this very very well. There's a dock we came in on. Um, all of this is all flat down here, so you can put things down there. This this grassy there's some space here, like there's some space for a big lot here. Uh, that's a little hilly there, a little hilly there. You can't do anything there. Uh, the space is here. Here you can see where some little roads are laid out for you. Um, down on this end over here, there are spaces down past that, that big rock outcropping around here. There's a little road that goes along there, uh, right around here. So there are lots in this area. And then there's another entrance, which should be right up there. Over on this side, if you wanted to, to a lot of times people put several um, uh, buildings up here, several lots up here. But along this back side, there's a lot of room for more lots. You go down this little road here. So all of this is available for lots. And as you can see, it goes back uh, fairly deeply. All along here and then this road goes around this way and then down a hill and down up over here is all of the space where on the um, forest map is a big uh, lake with an island in the middle um, actually let's see if we can uh, run over here real quick Again, some of this, like you couldn't put anything right here because of the, the hill. As you can see, we're coming on the, the back area here. And they have some of these roads kind of sketched in for you. Uh, sometimes you may not even want to use it. You may, you may just want to put um, lots right over that. The road goes around that way. Uh, down here, you can see uh, the road stretches back around there. All over here is, is a little bit of a uh, little bit of watery thing. This is where the pond or the, the lake is on the other map uh, with an island in the middle. And uh, so there's and then there's two entrances. There's one there and one there. Those are entrances as well into the map. Let's see if we can get over there. I get my uh, safety thing leveled up a little bit. Help out. We'll head over this direction. And there are spots in here that are flat enough for putting houses or lots. Now again, this area is actually part of the lake on the other maps, the forest map and the swamp map. In fact, the swamp map, a lot of this is watery. <laughs> So that's all water. And I believe this right here is underwater. And this is where the island is. And the island, this space, is actually big enough for a city lot. And you can see where on the other map, this would be all water in here. Uh, there's a bridge. Not a very attractive bridge here, but it is a bridge. And uh, on the forest map, it's actually a covered bridge. It's very nice. Um, a lot of trees and things over here. And again, there are two um, entrances, exits over here that you can choose to make your main entrance if you if you wanted to do that. Um, that is a nice um, thing you can do in the game. You can choose which entrance you want to do. 
and there's plenty of room over here for uh, more houses as well, more lots. Um, I always thought that on the forest thing, this would be a good area to, to make your whole town right around the, the lake. But, so that is our uh, our desert map. Uh, it's, it's very uh, very cool looking if you, you want to go in that direction. If you like the old English style housing, this may not be the map for you. Um, but we do have the, a lot of the adobe style buildings that, that fit this really well. Uh, the obsidian houses fit this very well. Uh, the cobalt buildings fit fairly well in the desert. Uh, it's kind of a stark contrast, but it, it works pretty well. Viking houses look terrible in the desert. Um, yeah, I, I, I've tried that before. It, it, looks, it just looks bad. So, all right, let's get back to hometown. Oops, I exited out of hometown. Oh my gosh. Apparently leaving that exit took me all the way out of the map. So we got to go back. Sorry about that. Well, that is really loud. All right, so that was the desert. Come on. All right, let's do the forest. Okay, so here we have forest one, one A, one B, one C, and then two. Forest two is very different from forest one. Let's look at, look at forest one. And we'll see the similarities that there are to desert. Now the thing about forest one, this is the one that you see the most often. This is used quite a bit, and there are a couple of different styles here at, at play. Um, this is the very basic. You can see that uh, it's it's very it's just a dirt mound going up here, and uh, there's there's another style that one of the A or B or something like that, where this is uh, all brick work, and you take some stairs. It's a very formal formal area up here. Uh, there's another one where. There's no cobblestone. This is all woods. Uh, all the trees right there, this is all woods and trees and dirt and grass. It looks very nice. Um, and then there's one with the, the grass and the formal look down here, too. So now look at this and compare this to the desert map we were just looking at. We came in the, on the dock. Same basic outline here. Here's the mountain, which is right back there. We'd be able to look down everything. Here is the, the little river and the lake I was talking about. The island I was talking about, and on the desert thing, we ran this way and ran out this exit right here. So the same basic map. Uh, the, the difference is we have um, a lot of trees here, which are fairly nice. And I'm not, I guess it makes sense to have this big cobblestone area. Um, it's okay, you know. Uh, oh, there's also a lot of space. So we didn't even look at the space over here. There's a lot of mountain area over here where there's some space as well. Uh, we won't go through all that. Um, so this is uh, this is a different style, and there's a, you know again the nice island over here where people this this island is usually pretty popular. Um, that generally gets a, a big house right away. Um, there's a, a hilltop right over here, which is right here on the map. Um, that generally goes pretty quick. Uh, it's big enough for a, I think maybe a castle. I'm not sure. Uh, a keep for sure though. And again, uh, different options. You can have the, the formal brickwork here if we wanted that. Go back to hometown. I don't know why they had that loud moon dial thing going off. That's really loud. Okay, since we're, we're looking at the same exact map all the time, let's now go to the Snowy Mountain. And we have two options, one with cobblestones, one without. We'll just do the, the first one here.
Okay. So notice the uh, similarity we have. Uh, this is normally where the dock would be, but we don't have a dock here um, because everything is frozen over. This is where the, uh, this is all water on the other maps. Uh, notice we have the same exact cobblestone area here. This is basically the exact same map we've seen before. Um, this is all cobblestone here. This is that, that hill that where you can see everything down. This is the, uh, the lake. This is a frozen lake though. And uh, there's no river going over here because we're not on the coast now. We're in the, they're in the, the, the mountains, the snowy mountains. So there's no coastline. So the lake is just a, actually a, a cut off lake from itself. Um, but everything else is exactly the same. You can lay out your, your lots um, and lay out your town however you want to do. Um, same exact spots, same, uh, like this is a little hilly spot. We saw this little hilly spot on the desert, same exact spot. Everything is exactly the same, just, uh, it's just snowy here. Okay. Let's head back to hometown. Uh-oh. I just want to go to hometown. Is it maybe the balloon? Maybe the balloon. Yeah. Okay, so are there any other maps that have exactly the same floor plan as that? Floor plan, well, yes there are. Let's go into the swamp. We have two choices here. Again, uh, one has the formal uh, brick entrance on the docks and the other one does not. We'll just go with the basic. So this is the, the swampy area. Now, oh, this is the one with the formal wall. This is what the formal wall looks like. So I'm glad they chose that. Um, the other one is just uh, low lying like we've seen before. Um, again, notice the same exact map. This time, since we are in a swamp, we have more water. We have the, the, the river that takes you into the pond or to the lake. But then we also have another little creek that goes along back here, a swamp area. Um, that goes along the back, so it separates this from this. Um, but again, different types of trees. Um, we have some extra bridges here going over that swampy area. Before that's just that was just dirt. There's the hill. There's the other hill. There's the island. Uh, this has all the cobblestone stuff. That kind of a swampy kind of. Uh, dank air to it. I do like the little separate little creek like this though. This is kind of cool. It kind of goes through there with the, the hanging moss and stuff. But again, as you see, it's the same basic layout. So you can choose this layout four different ways. Desert, forest, uh, snowy mountain, or swamp. So now... Let's head back. Okay, now let's look at some, something a little bit more uh, unique. Let's go to the forest number two. Actually, let's not do that one yet. Let's, uh, let's look at the grasslands, grassland biome. And we have a couple of different versions. We have grasslands, one, we have a 180 left and right, and then 1A. And 1A is the um, floral landscape. We'll just choose number one. 
And this is a, a map that's uh, completely different for, for the first time. And uh, it has like a little river going through the middle of it. But uh, it's all grassy. It's kind of wide open, wide open plains. So here's what it looks like. And it's put us here um, at the entrance, right, right at this little uh, area here. Nice little bridge over here. And a lot of times on this map, uh, the problem is it'll start you down here or it'll start you up here or over here and you don't know where, it's hard to tell where you're at. You just see like open plains, right? And no trees, just, just plains. You don't know where the town is or anything like that. Um, some NPC towns use this map, uh, like uh, Northwood. Um, I think Northwood starts you up here and you don't know where you're at. So you start to have to just wander down the road until you come all the way down here and say, oh, I found the town. It's actually down here. Um, so this particular map, I, I generally had kind of a negative opinion about until recently, just because it's, it's so hard to find anything. You don't know where you're starting at. So if you decide to choose this map um, to use it as your town, um, be sure to put some kind of, either have the town centered around where you enter the map. Here's an entrance, an entrance, entrance, uh, entrance. I think there's one over here as well. Um, either have the town center or else have a sign that says, go this way to get to the town. <laughs> it's, it's a little complicated. Um, there are a lot of different uh, locations for this. Um, as you can see right down here, there's a very big flat area. This little area right, right in here, which I think in real life, this would probably be a really good area to put in a farm or something or, or you know, build a town. Uh, right up on this ledge here, you know, this is all flat here. You can do things up here. And there's a little rise over here. Come over this way. This is a very large flat area, as you can see. It's just as far as the eye can see, right? I mean, you can do a lot of that with this with this piece of land. And then the, they have a road that goes this way. Uh, another bridge over here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, I think four or five bridges uh, in this map crossing the little, the little creek. Um, then on the other side of this river, there's a lot of, uh, you know, right over here, there's a big uh, flat space here as well, uh, as well as some spots over here. So again, there's a lot you can do. You can actually put a bunch of castles and keeps on this particular map. There's a lot of room for putting in big things. Um, the only problem I have with it is you can get lost really, really easily. Um, what are all these things? Grasslands 1A, one right, left, and 180. So, um, so there's a lot of uh, flat spots up here. And then up there, um, this road takes you out, so you can follow this road away, and there's flat spots there all along here. Around this corner here. You come this way. You see a massive flat spot right there. Look at this. All of this, all the way over here. And then you got this up here and then all that up there. And so we're looking at this area right in here. There's all a lot of flat land. There's some flat land over here, um, a lot of it up in this area and along this road. So along this road, you can do a lot of things too. So lots and lots of space. This is for if you want to spread your stuff out. If you have a lot of big lots, or you want to spread things out and, and or maybe do even like a like a farming community this is perfect for that there's another uh, alternative to this one which is as a uh, it's the same exact thing but has all as a floral grassland so there's a lot of flowers everything is all uh, multicolored and very pretty so that's the grasslands I wanted to show you that one before we go into the uh, uh, Forest 2, which is exactly the same layout as Grasslands, but with trees. Oh, 
Okay, so now we'll look at the forest O2, which again is the same but with trees. Notice the map is exactly the same. Now this one I do like. This is really very pretty. But this may be one of the, the, the prettier maps that, that's in here. Here's the same bridge. Um, everything's exactly the same. The same layout. It's just that with trees. Now you can definitely get lost on this map. And I have gotten lost on this map. This is the one that Northwood uses as his layout. So again, this is the first uh, thing. This is all flat. You can if you plop a lot here, these trees will disappear automatically for you. Um, again, this is that big empty piece of land in the, in the, on the first side. Um, the big spot here, it's less easy to tell, but it is. Then when you come up above the, under this rise up here, this is that massive, massive flat area that we saw that went as far as the eye could see. So all of this land... All of it out there is all flat. And then we decide to cross over the, the creek. And again, you can put your entrance, you can make your, your entrance not this dock, you can make it up here or here or on any of the entrances and just uh, put your town there, however you want to do it. Um, a lot of people do use this particular uh, uh, map for their towns and they've done some really, uh, really cool, amazing things with it. Uh, again, that's a big flat piece of land there and one up there. And the one we had looked at just now, let's go over there real quick. Come around here. And again, if we follow this road, it'll take us out. We come over here. This was the other gigantic piece of flat land. All of this. All the way over here is all flat. Then you have the rise. This is flat. And then there's a big flat area right up there. There's a road that goes along through there. So again, the same exact thing as the grasslands, just with trees. And you can see how you can, how easily you get lost in here because you just start wandering through these trees and it's like, I don't know where I'm going. So let's head back. Okay, well, the next one we could look at is the islands, although, you know, we're on an island now, and we actually looked at all the island stuff. Um, we have the tropical island with a wall, without a wall, swamp island with a wall, without a wall, regular island with a wall, without a wall. So those are six, there are six different types of islands. Um, this is the one that we've been, we were looking at the last two chapters. Um, Island is really cool. Actually, let's just look at this map. This is uh, hometown. Uh, this is the entrance. Uh, most of this is flat, um, as we saw. Uh, there's a little rise over here. This is uh, this is in the wall here where we looked at all the different houses. We went to, and then we went to every one of these houses at some point and looked at all of them. Um, there's a little rise over here, and then you can plant things over here. Um, there's a lot of space back here. There are spaces over here. Uh, we didn't go over in this section where they have some of the water lots. We didn't look at those. Another island over here. So this is, this is a lot of, again, a lot of land. If you want to have castles and stuff, this is a good map to have it on. Uh, the tropical island, I think, is, is the most interesting. The island is, um, uh, Celestis uses this map, but without the wall. And I really like Celestis a lot. Celestis is the first town I ever put a, a, a lot on. And I really, I still have it. I really like that one a lot. Um, it's very cool. It's a very, very cool town. So that is, uh, that is the island. 
style. That open. All right, so the only other two we have to get, to look at are the mountains, which is my town, um, uh, Lake Casabo, which I, we've seen that before. I don't know if we really need to go see that again. And um, followed by the underground. So let's look at the underground. Um, if you want to look at the mountain one, which is my personal favorite, um, it's right here. You can go up, uh, just click on that. And um, I've, I've shown that so many times that if you've watched my other episodes, I have three episodes on how to build your own, um, play your own town. And uh, it's exclusively set for mountains. So anyway, let's look at this underground. This is, uh, this is a weird one, but it's kind of cool, kind of creepy. And there are some underground towns in the game. Uh, they're player-owned towns. Um, not a whole lot. And we won't go through the whole map because it's really, really big. And there are, I think, like nine or 12 different cavern rooms. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so here we are. Um, this is actually backwards. We're facing the other way. So this is the entrance. Here is our banker and... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was dumb. I'm going to click on this guy, see if he didn't give me any gold. He did. He gave me 100 gold. All right. Thank you. I should have been doing that all the time so we were clicking on the stuff. Uh, so this is the entrance. And uh, everything's lit up by these, these mushrooms and things. Um, here is the, in, the exit back to Novia. Here's an exit back to hometown. Okay. Um, so there's these spaces. Oh, I got rid of the map. Uh, and this is turned backwards, so we're actually facing the other way. Um, so this is this is this room right here. This is the first room. Um, as you can see, I come down the little hill here, and this is there's a lot of flat land here. And you can all this is mainly most of this is, is flat, except for that big thing in the middle. Uh, if you place something right here, it'll get rid of these mushrooms, but it doesn't lose your light. High ceilings. Never have to worry about putting in too much lighting in here because it's already lit up with all these uh, mushrooms because you're in underground. So you can uh, you have like a little road here which you can use or not use. You can put houses right over that. As you can see, this is this is fairly large. And as you can also do, there's an entrance here which goes here. This tunnel goes this way to these to this room. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five six, seven caverns in here. And they're all fairly large. Um, this is not the biggest, it's not the smallest. And here's the entrance to go to this lake room. There's a lake room, a lake room. You can, so you can put water lots in here if you really wanted to do that. High ceilings. Uh, I've seen some mats where this is done really, really cool. Um, Cobalt houses look really good down here um, because of all the metal and stuff. If you ever saw that movie uh, City of Ember that has Bill Murray and uh, Tim Robbins in it, um, which is actually a really good movie, um, this reminds me of that a lot. And uh, so I think the, the Cobalt houses really fit this well. Uh, the standard Old English houses fit okay. Uh, the Obsidian houses fit really well down here. Uh, Shoguns don't really work. Uh, Viking houses are mm, not great for this. Uh, elven houses don't work either because, you know, oh, I have a house with a giant tree in it. Well, how's the tree? Anyway, um, any kind of stone work stuff works really well down here. So this is really kind of cool. Um, the one problem with this is if you have this on a map, it's hard for people to see it because uh, it's an underground town. Um, if it's... Uh, when we go back out to the hometown, you'll see how the entrance is. It's kind of hidden, and you don't really know. It needs to be a little bit bigger or something so people can, can spot it easier. Say, oh, there's an underground town. Sometimes I've walked through uh, the over uh, the overworld, and I said, oh, what's that thing right there? And I click it, oh, it's, a, it's an underground town entrance. It just wasn't marked. So I was like, well, how would anyone ever find this? You just don't see it. It doesn't look like little houses or anything like most towns are. Yikes. Sorry about that. So, yeah, so here is the entrance we just went through. As you can see, it's it's kind of hidden, you know. I mean, they put it here, but the, the grass is kind of poking through it, so you can barely see it. 
So anyway, those are the nine basic maps that we have in the game for player-owned towns. Uh, desert, Forest 1, Forest 2, Grasslands, Islands, Mountains, Swamp, Snowy Mountains, and Underground. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, again, if you want to take a look at them in more detail, come over here to Hometown. And uh, they're all available to, to, to wander around and examine to your heart's content. Uh, so anyway, until next time, this is Greg29407 along with Killdozer saying sayonara. And we will see you next time.